Hi, my name is Natalie Roberts and um, about three and a half weeks ago I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. On Wednesday I was diagnosed with stage 2B cervical cancer that has spread to the vaginal walls and the um, ligament that connects to the womb. I'm doing these daily blogs, or vlogs, whichever way you want to say it, to raise awareness of what can happen. Now, I was only a year and a bit late on my smear. Um, but that shows um, how much things can change in a year and a bit. Um, I had a baby 16 months ago, and... Um, by the grace of God, I was, um, I think I've caught the cancer early. I have got such supportive friends and family. And, um, yeah, I think a month, two months, and I should be in remission. Fingers crossed. I don't know. I might, I might not be. But... I'm doing this so people can see what it's like to go through even the early stages of cancer, as in, you know, a stage 2B is early. It's, a, it's an early stage of cancer. Um, it's not spread to any of my internal organs, thank God. But it is at one lymph node, they're not sure if it's cancerous or if it's just suspicious. They're treating it as cancer though and they're going to radio therapy that area as well. Um, I start my treatment soon, which is a mixture of radiotherapy and a little bit of chemotherapy. The chemotherapy, thank God, is not going to be strong enough to make any huge effects to my body. It's just there to top up the radiotherapy. Um, I'm hopefully going to do these daily vlogs because in the last week and a half, so much, so much has changed. I have gone from being just taking painkillers at night to deal with the pain at night because that's when it was getting at its worst to basically living on painkillers through the day. You know, I started off on over-the-counter codamol and codeine. Then I went on to prescribed zapping, 3500s. Then I had to start taking ibuprofen with that. Then that didn't work. Now they've got me on Oromorph which is an oral form of morphine and I'm on five of that every four hours and then yesterday was my worst possible day it showed me that things can change quickly while you've got cancer and pain can spread and get worse and yesterday I was put on a pro prolonged release morphine which I have to take every 12 hours to stop the pain from getting worse. Yesterday was a day where I thought I was going to end up in hospital with the pain, but I pushed through it. Um, the last thing I want is to end up in hospital and leave my family at home. Um, but yeah, I don't sleep well at night. Um, I quite fidgety at night, awake every hour to two hours. Um, you know, I'm not saying that getting cancer is the end of your life. It, uh, you can fight it. And I am one of the people that is very strong and very confident that I'm going to get through this. But there is people out there that, um, that don't think that they'll get through it or haven't got the support that I've got. So... The, 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 um, the one that I've got from these videos that is people who don't have the spot 
can watch these videos and know that there is people out there that will talk to you. There's Macmillan, there's, you know, your, your cancer oncology nurses should be lovely. I know my two are, and I know a few of the nurses in the clinic. Some of them are my friends, they're very supportive. Um, I recently told my Facebook family, friends, about my diagnosis and the, um, the, the outcry of support and the help that's been offered is absolutely out of this world. Um, yeah, so to people out there that are maybe on their own dealing with this, there is people out there that will help you and also there's me. I will leave underneath <laughs> in a bit. I will leave my Instagram um, name and I will possibly leave my email address for people who need someone to talk to. That I'm here and you can talk to me and ask me questions. Um, you know, this is just a hello vlog saying what I'm going to be doing you know I will be putting up days where it's not going to be my best day you might see me crying you, know, you might see me angry um, but mostly you're going to see me strong you're going to see me telling you what today has been like and um, yeah so for now Natalie out